Hello and welcome to a first look of a gameplay of a game called Ragnarok Online 2. This is a free MMORPG that came out in, um, I think it was May 2013. Can I help you with something? 2013? Yes, you can help me. Help me give me a quest. Um, I played the Ragnarok Online 1 for quite a while, so I did like that game a lot, so I decided to try this out. Uh, Ragnarok Online 2 is in 3D, and it looks exactly like every other Korean MMORPG I've played so far. Uh, hey, you but, came to the right place! Oh, uh, but I came to the right place, because this is apparently the right game for me. Let's find out if it is. Um, I started as an archer, so this is an archer class. And I have to get rid of Baby Boring. Oh, that's horrible. That's just... that's wrong, man. Okay, let's get rid of Baby Boring. Oh, wait, there's another quest right here. Um, and... This game... Pouring bastards! This game, pouring bastards. You guys really hate your pouring, don't you? What's this? Let's take this. Oh, I'm stealing someone's loot. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. That's an insight. So, it has pourings, just like the original, um... um Oh, oh, there's no other attack. I have to. Oh no, I have to. Alright. Uh, I'm playing as an archer. In the beginning, I had uh, a choice of three different classes. So there's an archer, a warrior, a healer, a wizard, and a thief. Uh, and I chose an archer because I like to arch things with my arch ability. Also known as a bow. Oh, I got a web. Nice. Alright, so. See if I can if I can kite. Can I kite in this game? Oh yeah, I can. I totally can. Something that you could not do in Ragnarok Online 1 very well is kite. Here you can be an epic Oh oh no, oh no, do that. Here you can be an epic kiter. Alright, so that's that's kinda of fun so far. I kinda like I like the uh, speed of the battles here. It's not too fast, not too slow. A lot of games kind of tend to either rush you through the battles or they're too slow. This is actually kind of just at the right place, at least so far. You know, you have to still try to kill things even though this is just level 1. And I kind of like that. That's a good uh, way of starting your character progression. What is it? Ooh, Statue of Venus. Sure, take, give me that. I'll take that. Did I have to talk to anyone else here? Uh, maybe this guy. Maybe this dead guy. I killed all the dude. Bastards. You're, you're a poor bastard. Alright, bag is B. What did I get? I got something. I got something here. Useless crib sheet. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. For that useless piece of crap you gave me. Um, so the uh, in inventory is kind of stereotypical. Um, you have your slots there, and what's this? These are your different... Ooh, is it Chocobo from Final Fantasy? I guess it is. Um, these are your mounts, different mounts. I don't have any yet. I don't have any mounts, I'm mountless. And this is your character sheet, so you have strength, agility, intelligence, wisdom, vitality, there's a bunch of stats here. Pretty great, hit great. So, this is quite typical of an MMORPG, which is actually something that I really like. It doesn't try too hard to be original and sticks to things that do work, yet it is kind of different from every other game. Uh, I mean, the gameplay is reminiscent of, I don't know, just a few other Korean MMORPGs I've played, but it's not very, it, it doesn't feel like a Ragnarok Online game. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, when I started playing Ragnarok, it was still, when it was still like really, really grindy, so you had to work hard to get powerful and strong. Um, here, however, I think things will be different, because there are quests from, pretty much from level 1. Let's see how long it takes me to get to level 2, actually. Let me see if I can do it in like 5-10 minutes. Oh, oh no, oh no, don't do that. There you go. Uh, what do I have to do? Deliver, deliver. Deliver where? Map. Oh, map. Okay. Map is cool. Uh, it looks very similar to any other Korean games. And this is the guy I have to talk to. There's a house here. That's good. That's cool Did you just yawn to my face, asshole? I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, what is it? 
No, you're you're a mean one. Uh, you can collect special items, shiny object. Oh, okay, collect mushrooms. I can do that. I'm a professional mushroom collector. That's a big ass mushroom. All right, two more. There's one right there. Okay, so the quests are also very difficult. Collect collection quests, FedEx quests, and kill 18,000 things quests. Here you go. Here's your mushrooms. Eat. Eat. Eat now. Operational library assault. Ooh. Um. Okay. Is that something I have to do? Talk to Michael. Okay, I'll talk to you. Uh, what is it? Cool, cool, cool. Open map. You told me to open map. I'm opening map. Okay, so there's a few more quests here. And then my quest. Oh, alright. I can also do that. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, what's this? Leisure flip. Oh, these are creatures. Let's kill this. Let's see if it's more difficult. Oh, nice. I'm more strong now. Or possibly they're just weaker than other things. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Uh, it's it's actually quite enjoyable. The music is quite interesting. Not not really interesting, but I mean, it's it's there. It's there. And it's uh, this there are voiceovers for certain characters. And also, there's your grunts, there's your sounds of attack and battle. So that's there, which is good, which is good. Get a sleep from what? What do I get a sleep from? I like the fact that there's no um, auto run. Which is really easy. It's really easy to have auto run. Oh, you guys should kill this. What's that? Someone level up? Some level up. Uh, what are you guys? What are you doing? Kidding? Killing both of them? Oh no, I missed. I missed. That's not good. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh yeah, that's right. Die. Okay, so I have to get three more paddles. Okay. How do I loot faster? I don't know how to loot faster yet. I'm just gonna go uh, loot it old, old school. By right clicking it. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. So, before I, before I stop, I wanted to check out what kind of skills I also have and can get. Because that's important. If you have a lot of skills in this game, they could actually be worth playing for a long period of time. I'm gonna go into my character info. No, nope, it's not here. It's probably here somewhere. Skills. There you go. Alright, so the skill tree for an archer has one, two, three, four. So this goes to level five. And then you have your skills here. So this is kind of reminiscent of Diablo in a sense, because you have your skill progression. You can go for either. What's this? Oh, these are different. Okay. So there's an AOE skill here. Double strafing. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So this is interesting. So you can become Mars, Mars Master Archer. Uh, however, I guess that this means there's probably going to be only like one or two uh, effective builds. And everyone's going to be kind of a carbon copy of each other. Which is unfortunate, but it always happens. Every, every RPG has that. Uh, and since there is only there are only five classes, that means that there's really just five classes. Okay, I leveled up. So it only took me about five minutes to get to this. And level two now. Let's see if we got something for the if we can assign any points or something. Something here? No? Something anything? No. Uh, all the points are pre-assigned automatically. So yeah, I see again some strength. Um, but however, ooh, that's not it. However, I do get a skill point, don't I? I get two skill points. Awesome. So, what should we get? Let's get. No, I don't want this. I want a different. 
Okay, let's get a trap. Let's get another trap. Let's get two traps. See how they work. Yeah, sure. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, where are they? Okay, place one here. And one here. Let's try the traps. See what it's like. See if it's epic and cool. Or if it's lame and not cool. Hey, you. Come here. Get into my trap. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was epic. Epic trap. Epic trap. I kind of wonder if I can actually trap things after I start attacking them. So let's try that. Oh, yeah. It's instant. Oh, nice. No. You jerk. Oh, it didn't freeze though. Why didn't it freeze? It doesn't freeze them? Ah. Oh, it reduces movement speed. I see, I see. Wait, it's still moving though. Or was that, was that it? Maybe that was it. Alright, well that's good, that's good. So, I can do this. And I can put a trap. Right? And I can walk away from it. And it's going to get trapped into my trap. And it's going to get set on, be set on fire. Oh, nice. So this is interesting. It's a good uh, game mechanic. I mean, a lot of games do have this, but it's good to, it's good to have it in Ragnarok Online. Oh, water. Let's try water. Let's see if we can swim in this game. Because we can definitely jump onto things. And we can also swim. Nice. Um, for some reason, this actually kind of reminds me more of World of Warcraft than it it does of um, Korean MMORPGs because what Korean games like to do is limit you with invisible walls and things like that uh, so that you can really oh oh I see I see what's going on here I can see through so that's obviously a bug let's see if I can fall through can I fall through oh no I'm stuck inside all right okay excellent I am inside of a rock or something or a mountain or a hill. Is a bridge here? Um, Alright, yeah, I spoke too soon. Uh, but yeah, so in a sense, it, it's more like a World of Warcraft because it lets you actually jump onto things as opposed to give you invisible walls that you can't climb over. And it told me to click on P. Oh, okay, so these are different. I guess that's like achievements that you can get uh, by killing monsters. So you get different cards from different monsters. Not interested though. I'm not, I'm not like much of a collector. Don't really like to collect things. I like to kill things. Like I like to kill these angry flips, whatever they are. I'm gonna do it smart way by putting a trap here, and then by putting another trap here. And you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna die like a monster that you are. No, don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me, bro. Come here. Oh no, you can shoot stuff. Anyway, you're dead. Okay, interesting. Alright, so so far this game is actually kind of fun. It's... It's, uh... It seems more casual. Nice but to I would totally like to try it longer because the graphics are really nice. I did lower the settings a little just so that Fraps doesn't go crazy on me when I'm recording this. But it seems to be a nice looking game. The music is good. Um, definitely not reminiscent of Ragnarok on 1-1 except for the storyline. I mean, there's, you know, you have your Midgard, you have your uh, similar characters. Oh, find the mailbox. That's interesting. There it is. I found my mailbox. That was easy. Easiest quest ever. And so overall, the game is interesting. I would totally recommend trying it out. Especially if you are, if you want to try a free to play MMORPG that has, you know, nice graphics, really good gameplay. It has uh, crickets playing instruments. And being all jolly and playing and singing. Oh, I wish there was actual music playing here. There's an old guy in the old lady listening. And overall, this is a, this is interesting. It's good. Try go try it out. Uh, I'm going to post the link below. And yes, try the game. Try it now. Don't delay. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. Okay, bye.